Center for Violence. And it was our attempt at uh, building a contraption that would uh, climb up the surface. The initial purpose was to deploy four of them and use them for human wall climbing. Alternatively, you could also use them for high altitude missions. Partially is to help humans climb walls and or windows, but there are other things like um, being able to place communication relays and or surveillance cameras um, or uh, microphones up um, in high places that are difficult to get to, but it can also be used for things like um, checking um, on bridges or trusses to see if they're, they're working or if they need repair. To execute tasks that uh, you wouldn't necessarily want a person doing. Something that that can be added a fixture onto the robot so that it could do it on its own without even any humans involved. And these would be automatic. Shaft, which attaches to. The initial design, uh, very primitive. <laughs> we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into, um, and it just evolved as we went along. We went from these to these. We had all these uh, parts in mind, but didn't really know what or how to put these things together, such as like, the gearbox and motors, where they really go, where the shaft lead to and what things would turn what. So the initial design was essentially a bar with two legs, as the name uh, exhibits. But it was really simple, and it definitely didn't end up being very simple. The thing to note is that this is a cam, and that is responsible for inducing and uh, deactivating suction. You would suck onto a wall using, for example, this leg. Uh, once. Well, the way that occurs is uh, this motor turns a cam that creates uh, lower pressure inside of the suction cup, which uh, adheres it to the surface. This motor turns about that axis, um, and simultaneously, this leg props up and down. Uh, which makes this suction cup go up and down to relieve the friction in this region. So, as you can see, the robot sort of turns its body to generate one step. At the end of the step, um, all motion ceases, and then the suction of this leg uh, is executed in the same manner that this one took place. Well, the control software works by using a C based language, well, it is C, and in, in parallel with uh, a microcontroller uh, that's using a DSP. And once a button is pushed, uh, the, ro the program enters in that state, and it's within that while loop, it executes that function, which you will see on the robot. The control box uh, works using six buttons, and these buttons are basically input signals into the microcontroller. Now it's important these buttons does not control the motors themselves, rather they control uh, certain motions. For example, for the walk motion, you utilize uh, uh, a motor that is basically being turned on and off in a periodic way, uh, in sync with the, the arm on the servo, which enables it to move without having much drag. And the other buttons, such as uh, align and also um, the suction, also works in the same way in that it utilizes both a motor and a servo. 
And by, by different combinations of input, you can basically let the robot roam around in a, in a 2D plane. The major category of problems uh, pertained to the alignment of the robot. I think all of their challenges sort of fell under the umbrella of the alignment of the robot. Uh, it, it was due to the nature of the mechanism that we chose uh, to use in adhering the robot to the surface, which was uh, suction cups, suction by suction cups. And it was really binary. It was either you were flat on the surface that you were trying to adhere to, or you weren't. The major success of the bar was just how robust it was. The fact that we added a servo push arm onto the bar to help with suction, but then it also ended up being used to be able to, to walk. So the fact that things that we designed um, were able to fulfill their purpose, but also fulfill other purposes we weren't expecting. So I like the fact that when I, I feel like if I push harder, it's going to go harder. <laughs> like, don't you feel that way? Come on, if you drive it, like if you push on, oh, like, you know, like you know how the circuit works. You know, I like, you know, right when I play Mario Kart. Yeah, the harder I push that button down, the better it's gonna work. Max, I need the thumbs up. Wait, so nothing went wrong right now. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. My logic doesn't work anyway. <laughs> I want it that way. Desire. <laughs> Max, don't you like physical affection and attention? This is our driver. Driver. That's our controller, and that's our robot. It's it's the barely ascending uh, robot. Left, right. We're on the right leg. No, that's left. This is left. This is right. Okay. We're just gonna push the button and see how it works. That's what oh, awesome. Yeah. Oh, this is killing me. What's there were no cameras rotating. Oh, uh, right. Did you did you connect the wires right? Well, apparently not. <laughs> Tight. No. Right now we're arguing. Yes. <laughs> Come on, wire man. That's your whole job. You have one job on the ship. Why? Because God did a better job on my leg, but this isn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about me. I, was I like, think uh, we get to graduate. <laughs>